and welcome to a new episode of the survival show at ODT. My name is Mike and as I mentioned in a previous video I want to show you this Moro setup I've been using for quite a while now. And I did some modifications to the sheath and to this whole neck carry. The knife itself is as it comes straight out of the box, there is no changes or modifications on the knife itself. Okay, let's talk about the sheath. So, let me put the knife away for a second. I've wrapped some red tape around the sheath, just in case if I drop it, the red color stands out on most colors in the woods. So, if I drop it in the grass, the red color will shine out. Even if I drop this knife onto the snow, I can easily find it with this red tape around it. And in a survival situation I can hit and use this tape as well. Okay, here I've done some paracord wrapping. It's just a piece of paracord wrapped around and pulled tight. And the loosened ends I've melted here. So if I need it, I just pull this up and break this melting point, and I'm good to go. This gives me around two meters of paracord if I need to make some shelter or fishing line because this is seven strands. I can also use the uh, rope itself for a bow drill, but I don't need to because I have my fire kit here. What I also did is drilling a hole right down in the bottom of the sheath because the original drainage holes are here and here on the side. But if water really comes in this sheath, the easiest way to get out is right down at the tip. So I took my Swiss Army knife, the awl, and drilled a hole in it. That's all. Nothing very complicated. Everybody can do this at home. Okay, as neck carry I've chosen also paracord because it's much more durable and I can use it for many other tasks than just my neck string. Because Carrying a knife around your neck is very dangerous. You should leave the ends open. You should secure the ends with a cord lock and don't tie any knots in it. So if you really get hang on anything while you slip down a hill and the string is caught by a branch or whatever, the cord lock will break or slip off. In a normal case it won't slip off because as you can see here I've melted some I would say mushroom heads on the ends of the string. So safety first. And it's just looped into the sheath. Very simple. Okay, what I do also carry on this uh, neck cordage neck uh, set up is a piece of fat wood and I've used my awl from the Victorinox from the Swiss Army knife and drilled a hole in this fat wood piece and if I really need I can get some shavings of this with my Moro knife and I'm good to go. To ignite this even when wet I also use one of this because those are very lightweight because of the magnesium. You can scrape the whole magnesium bar down if you need to, but I would recommend just use small pit bits of it. Uh, make a small uh, pile of magnesium shavings and then ignite it with this integrated ferrocene rod here on this side. Yeah, that's all. That gives me a knife as a tool fire, two ways of fire, and shelter with the cordage. I can use it for 
making traps, making snares, making a fishing line with this cord again. So I have food, I have fire, I have shelter, I have a knife. Okay, water. But as you've seen or heard in my video uh, about one item to choose, it would be a water bottle. So with this setup and a water bottle, I'm good to go. Hope this helps you, and thank you very much for watching again. See you soon in another one. Mike from the survival